physical body has a limitation of time and space it will exist in time and space it will decay in time and space but life does not have any such limitation life will live on forever 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 what are we fearful about you know the root of all the fears all the panic all the accumulation that we do in life all the insurances that we buy in life all the wealth that we try and create you know the root of all of that immortality the root of all the fear is the fear of death so what is really happening all around this microscopic being suddenly came because viruses and pandemics have always been existing it's not a new phenomenon on earth it's always been there but the message is very important we are fearful because we do not want to die none of us nobody wants to die is this a bad thing absolutely not absolutely not so why we do not want to die because inherently friends nature has has created a sense of immortality within us hear this out this is important every life form in its in its dna has an inbuilt imprint of immortality life is equal to immortality life lives it never dies it changes its form immortality is built into our dna hence we do not want to die hence we we fear the death it's a natural phenomena but it's a natural phenomena if okay let me rephrase it's a natural instinctive phenomena if we are only a natural instinctive being then this phenomena is fine what is the phenomena let me remind again that we fear death because the immortality is being imprinted into in our dna structure we don't want to die dna so if we are natural and instinctive being alone then this theory is fine but we are consciousness also as i said earlier we just not a virus we are much more than a virus so immortality is built into us if we are only a instinctive being like a like an insect or like an animal then we would forever run away from death and we want to save ourselves from death and we will always live in fear of dying if we are only instinctive being but then nature did something phenomenal with us in our consciousness it also told us partly as animals partly as conscious beings as animal it told us that procreate so we procreate we we produce children where the dna gets transferred into another life form and through that life form we survive we live even after the death of the physical body because the physical body has a limitation but life does not have a limitation are we together physical body has a limitation of time and space it will exist in time and space it will decay in time and space but life does not have any such limitation life will live on forever 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 so what did nature do it created the process of procreation in us so we can continue to live through procreation we can test our dna i mean they do test the dna and they can tell you in you right now they will test your dna and they will tell you in you what is the percentage of genes that you have which belong to the greeks let's say or which belongs to the neanderthals let's say the the you know the the sapiens before human beings they decode all of that 
So if they take your DNA and they tell you that, you know, you are probably 40% Greek right now, which means what, you know? Which means your DNA is alive, continuing its life process from last 10,000 years and more. So this is the process nature built into us to fulfill our need for immortality. But as human beings, it built another thing in us to become immortal. It gave us, it gave us creative creative consciousness. So we create something in life and through that creation we live on. How many of us here on this session today, how many of us really love and enjoy some old music? The composers and the singers of that are long gone, but they are living still in our heart through their creation. So there are two ways to be immortal in life. Procreate, which everybody does. And second, you create something. Piece of music, piece of art, piece of writing, piece of humanity, service, something through which we live on. And the need for immortality is taken care of. The need for immortality. But instead of doing this creative process, what we are doing is, we are trying to protect this biological form which has a limitation of time and space, which no matter what we do, we cannot protect. Or we, I won't say we cannot protect, we cannot keep it together forever. Are we together? In the, in the, in the meditative aspect, we say that one who is able to transcend the fear of death is the one who is able to enter into the doors of immortality. Yeah? So understand these two phenomena I talked about. Immortality is inbuilt into our structure. But when it's inbuilt into, inbuilt into our structure, we think we are just this body, which is limited by time and space, and we try to preserve this body forever against the law of nature. It doesn't work like that. And because we are not able to do that, it is against the law of nature, the fear takes over. We live in fear then. Expensive insurances, accumulation of wealth, and all of that to save this biological phenomena. And we never put any thought, any energy, any attention into creation. Let us create something. Let us create something which will live forever and ever, even after the physical body is gone. And some of us who do that by way of procreation or by way of creation, we do another mistake there. When we procreate or when we create something, we get attached to our creation. We get absolutely attached to the children that we produce. We get absolutely attached to any piece of art, any piece of creativity that we, we, we bring out. We get totally attached with that. My music, my book, my painting, my architectural design, my child, and the rest of it. And the moment we get attached to our creation as life form or as creative form, again we give rise to the fear. Because what I am attached to, I am very fearful about that. I do not want to lose this what I am attached to. I do not want to let go of this what I am attached to. Fear takes birth again. Do you see the loop here? Do you see? So first we were trying to protect our body because we thought this is the only life that we have and the immortality principle is built into our DNA. We were suffering. Then we said, okay, through procreation I live on 
and through my creativity i live on but then i get attached to that the fear comes back i suffer again mm-hmm.